the paranormal, and the unexplained. In this episode of Urban Legends, we present five cases of unusual phenomena. At the end of each segment, we'll ask you, the audience, to vote on whether you believe. Ladies and gentlemen, J.K. Cinema presents Urban Legend 6. Fact or Fiction? A strange and well-documented apparition phenomenon began in a small Spanish village called Belmez on August 23, 1971. On that day, Maria Gomez Barrera noticed a strange formation on her kitchen floor. The formation evolved each day, until finally it became a face. Maria's husband Miguel took a pickaxe and destroyed the floor. It was then re-cemented and everything returned to normal. Until a week later. On September 8, 1971, the face that had been destroyed spontaneously reappeared on the kitchen floor. The Belmez City Council decided that they should excavate the earth beneath the kitchen floor to see if they can find the source of the unusual phenomena. What they found was shocking. There, buried nine feet beneath the Barrera's kitchen, were headless skeletons and piles of human bones. The remains were removed, and the floor was again relayered with cement. Soon later, the face returned. Then many different faces started to appear on the floor. The faces of Elmez were determined to stay. Experts were called in to examine the phenomena. They took a slab of the kitchen floor back to their lab and found that the cement had no evidence of paint or dyes. Then they sealed off the kitchen and windows with wax and covered the floor in a jacket and sealed the edges. The kitchen remained untouched for three months until it was reopened. They found the faces had evolved and moved about the floor. They also recorded audio from the kitchen and found ghostly chatter on the tape. Yeah, man. I continue uh, very. Well, Professor Hans Bender called the Belmez faces the most important paranormal phenomenon of the century. The faces continue to elude scientific explanation to this day. Are the faces of Belmez fact or fiction? Cast your vote now. Poll results will be displayed at the end of the program.
On November 16, 1996, professional cameraman Mark Lichtel shot video of a parachuter jumping into a cave. He didn't notice anything during filming. But upon playback, he noticed a strange object swim through the air. Two years earlier, Jose Escamilla captured the very first rod on video. Rods have since been captured on video all around the world, and even in space. What are rods? They range from 4 inches to 100 feet long. And they travel very fast. They travel at a speed that is impossible to see with the human eye. But modern equipment, like digital cameras can detect them. Some speculate they are extraterrestrial beings. Some believe they are creatures from right here on Earth. Skeptics believe they are an effect of the camera lens or defects in the videotape or motion blurred objects. Tell us what you think. Rods? Are they fact or fiction? Cast your vote now. Working at a car impound lot in Oklahoma, saw a ghost on the surveillance monitor. The ghostly figure appeared to circle around the cars. It was all caught on tape. The woman told another worker to go and check it out. I said there wasn't nobody back there. The wind was still that night. Um, our alarm was on, so nobody jumps the fence back there. Three vehicles on the lot that night were involved in fatal accidents. Could it be the mysterious figure was one of those spirits searching for its car? This story has been covered by major news outlets. Do we finally have proof that ghosts exist? Or is it just wishful thinking? Cast your vote now. It is hard to say when El Chupacabra, which means goat, sucker in Spanish, was first spotted, but it is known that this unearthly creature was first seen in Puerto Rico. People in rural areas claim to be awoken out of deep sleep by the pain screeches of their pets and livestock. Residents would find the bodies of their animals lifeless and drained of all bodily fluids. Only those unlucky people who went out during the night to inspect the sound had any idea of what kind of beast was responsible for the horrific scene. El Chupacabra was first reported in Puerto Rico, but reports have recently spread as far north as Massachusetts. This modern monster has also been seen in the American Southwest and parts of Asia, Central America and New Zealand. It is suggested that the beast flies and swims his way to his next destination. There is no telling how many there are in the world, but reports have continued to grow in the past few years. All we can say is your animals and small children indoors tell us what you think
After the credits, we'll reveal the viewer poll results.